Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to be doing another improper integral problem. This one is the integral of e to the 0.1x dx on the range negative infinity to 0. So, uh, like I said in the last video, um, whenever we have a problem like this and you see a range here on the integral, don't worry about it at first. It doesn't come into play until later on in the problem. So just ignore it for now and just evaluate this integral like you would a normal integral without a range. So the first thing we're going to do is take this integral. It's simple enough that we can handle it without making any changes or substitutions or anything. Um, it ends up being e to the 0.1x. That stays the same. And you divide the coefficient by the um, coefficient on the exponent. So um, whenever you're taking an, 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 an integral or a derivative for that matter that involves e, um, it's kind of a unique situation. Um, when you take the integral, you never ever touch the exponent. It always stays the same. So 0.1x stays the same, 0.1x here. Um, and you just divide the coefficient, which is the implied one, by the coefficient here on the exponent, um, just like you would if you had a, you know, normally, right, if you, if you had like x to the fourth, the integral, right, you would, you would do x to the fifth, and then you'd, um, you'd divide the coefficient one by whatever the exponent is here, five. Um, you don't divide this by 0.1x, just the coefficient here on the x, and you can ignore this. So, and those are just kind of rules that um, that you need to uh, either memorize or um, or plug into your calculator or write on a formula sheet or something so that you can remember them. But this is uh, the integral, so I'm just going to go ahead and simplify. 1 divided by 0 0.1 is, of course, 10, and you can do that in your calculator if you want, but so 10 e to the 0 0.1 x. So that's your integral. And now what you need to do is evaluate on the range negative infinity to zero. So this notation here, um, after you've taken the integral, you go ahead and draw the line. And that kind of signifies that you're going to evaluate everything on this side of the line from negative infinity to zero. You keep negative infinity on the bottom and zero on the top, just like they were originally. And now you're going to go ahead and evaluate. So the way that that works, uh, we plug in 0 first and then negative, negative infinity. So, um, it's going to look like this. I'm just going to put 0 in first, so 10 e to the 0 0.1 times 0, right? We're plugging 0 in for x here. So we plug that in, and then minus, and the same thing again, 10 e to the 0 0.1 times negative infinity. So you always plug the top in first and the bottom in second. So 0 goes in first and then negative infinity in second, since this is the top and the bottom, top and the bottom. Um, and you plug it into everything that's on this side of the line. So that's why you have the whole you know, 10 e to the 0 0.1, 10 e to the 0 0.1. You plug it in. Um, and this in the center is always um, minus. You always subtract this from this. So those are kind of the components to plugging in this range. And then all you have to do is evaluate. So um, what you end up with here, 0 0.1 times 0 is, of course, just 0. Anything raised to the 0 power at all is always 1, always. So it doesn't matter if it's x to the 0, if it's 20 to the 0 power, um, or if it's e to the 0 power, it's always just 1. So you're going to end up with 10 times 1 is, of course, just 10. So the first term is 10 minus, right? The second term here, 10 e to the 0 0.1 times negative infinity. Negative infinity, um, obviously, you know, you can't, um, you can't truly plug negative infinity into your calculator. What I would always do is just pick a really, really big number. So um, since it's neg negative infinity, I would pick like negative 100,000, or negative 1 million, or negative 10 million if I had to. Um, and I would, I would multiply that by 0 
Um, so I take, you know, negative 1 million times 0 0.1. Um, I'd get an answer for that, right? And then I'd say, okay, E, and raise it to um, my answer, that power, um, and see what I got. Um, sometimes, you know, you get um, a really small number, a really big number, and you might have to try it again. So if you, if you plugged in 10,000, and you got an answer that um, that didn't really make any sense to you. Um, plug in a hundred thousand, and then plug in a million, and see what you get. Um, whenever you're dealing with infinity, whether it's positive or negative here, you should get something that either ends up being zero, or that ends up being a huge, huge, huge number. Um, so we, um, when we actually plug in uh, negative infinity or a really, really, really big negative number. Um, we end up with zero in this term, um, and that means that we end up with 10 minus zero, which of course is just simply 10. So that's our final answer here, um, but just remember that whenever you, you're dealing with negative, um, just uh, use a really, really big number in your calculator, plug it in, and you should get um, an answer that, that makes this whole answer really apparent. In this case, uh, we end up with just 10. Thanks, guys.